Dear viewers, welcome to another video in the series of TRIS Inventive Problem Solving Methodology. In our previous video, we have seen what exactly TRIS way of problem solving is all about. We have seen an introduction of this method of problem solving and what are the different stages of problem solving. As I was explaining the different stages of problem solving, I have used two terminologies, contradiction matrix and TRIS 40 inventive principles. Even though I have given a short introduction of what are these two terminologies all about. I have mentioned that I will post a separate video explaining these two uh, matrix and list of 40 principles. So in this video, we will understand what is contradiction matrix and TRIS 40 inventive principles, which are two important integral part of TRIS inventive problem solving. Let's get into the video. <music> As I was explaining in the introduction, TRIS revolves around a method of problem solving where the problem get analyzed and then we identify the specific problem. We convert that specific problem into a generic problem or a general problem. And what do we mean by general problem? This kind of problem existed somewhere else in the past based on a contradiction. And what do we mean by contradiction? A specific contradiction in a product or service. So one of the examples that we have seen in the introduction video is you need longer battery life in a mobile phone. So for a battery life, a longer battery life, definitely the battery has to be bigger. And if the battery becomes bigger, it becomes heavier. So your mobile phone also becomes heavier. So there is a contradiction. So battery life and the weight of the mobile phone has a contradiction. So this contradiction is what we call it as a contradiction matrix. So this contradiction matrix helps us to identify a method by which from this contradiction, we will be able to move to a generic solution. So there are 40 inventive principles that has been already established in TRIS method of problem solving, which will relate to the contradiction matrix. So in contradiction matrix, which we if we have a specific kind of contradiction, the matrix will suggest us to take multiple of these 40 inventive principles, two or three of these 40 inventive principles as a solution to a given contradiction. And then that generic solution will then subsequently get converted into a specific solution. And that specific solution will be evaluated and we will move to the best possible solution and implement it and pilot it in our area of work or in our shop floor. Now to understand this better, let me take you to the matrix. So here is the matrix. And these are the 39 engineering parameters that is getting converted into a matrix. So if you want to understand, let me read some of this for you. Weight of a moving object. So if you want to reduce weight of a moving ob object, at the same time, if you want to not impact the length of the moving object, the, the length of the moving object should remain the same or it should become better, but it cannot become worse. So if you see this axis, the column talks about improvement to be made in a particular parameter of your product or service and the row talks about what should not get impacted or it should remain same or it can improve, but it cannot worse from its current situation. So on that side, we are talking about the length of the moving object. So if the weight of the moving object need to be improved, when we say improved, need to be reduced or need to be increased, we should not have an adverse effect on the length of the moving object. If that is the contradiction that we are looking at, then the contradiction matrix is suggesting us that we need to go for principle number 15, 8, 29 and 34. For you to look at it better let me increase the font size the weight of the moving object is what i want to work upon or is what i want to improve then the length of the moving object should not get impacted it should remain the same or can only better cannot become worse then i need to take principle number 15 8 29 and 34 now what is this 15 8 29 and 34 so here i have a list of 40 inventive principles of TRIS and if you see here there is a list of things so let's quickly understand the numbers one more time 15 8 29 and 34 so 
15 is dynamics, 8 is counterweight and we had 29 and 34, 29 talks about pneumatics and hydraulics and 34 talks about rejecting and regenerating parts. So, these are the four principles. Now, each of this principle is a word that you see here, but it have a lot of conceptual understanding that we need to do. But at this point of time, our solution lies in one of these four concepts. So, from this principle, we need to deep dive and understand what is the, each of this principle talks about. So, as this is an introduction video, I am just giving you a technique of how this particular matrix need to be understood and from the matrix how we will move on to a specific principle from the list of 40 principles that is listed down in TRIS method of problem solving. So, to make it easy for you to understand because this matrix might look complex to study but actually not so, you have the, uh, prince, you have the parameter which need to be improved in the column and you have the parameter which should not get impacted, should remain the same or can only become better in the row. So, the intersection point of these two columns and rows will give you the principle on which the 40 principle from which we can identify the possible solution. But for make it easy for you to understand, I have created an Excel template where we can use the drop down and then we can make the necessary changes in what need to be improved at the same time what need to be maintained as it is. So, here I have created a Excel formula. So, by this if we tweak then it will return the principles from where the potential solution can be identified or the potential solution can be picked up. So, here if you see I have given the list. So, 35, 10, 19 and 14. If the volume of the stationary object need to be improved without loss of time or the loss of time should remain the same, it cannot become worse. Then we need to look at 35, 10, 19 and 14. So, here I have also given the list. So, 10, prior action, 14, sporadicity or curvature. So, these are some solutions from which we can pick up our solution. So, here I have given you this drop down. So, from this drop down, you can choose what you would like to, you know, work upon. So, this is a template which we call it as Tris contradiction matrix. And as we identify what is the contradiction of our problem, from this list we will be able to select solutions which we can, from which we can identify the possible solution. So, some of the places where there is no contradiction available, then it will return a double star here. Otherwise, where there is a principle available, it will return the serial number of the principle. If you think a copy of this excel will be useful for you to practice this method of problem solving in your day to day work, feel free to write to our email address. I will share the email address in the description. So, the copy of this email, uh, excel file can be shared with you so that it becomes easy for you to identify the possible principle based on the contradiction matrix. Hope this video was useful for you to understand what is TRIS contradiction matrix and what is TRIS 40 inventive principles. In our upcoming videos, we will now start breaking down each of this concept one by one with the help of different case studies, best practices from my consulting experience and also what I have seen in different industries and domains where people have used TRIS to solve their problem. So, to get more videos on this concept which will help you to understand this methodology and thereby you can go back and implement it in your shop floor, in your area of work. Kindly subscribe and follow our channel. Thanks for your time. We will see you in another video.